Outdoor seating and storage is often at a premium. This little bench is easy to move, it's practical, and it provides storage. And check out this amazing lid stay. I think you'll like it. This project is made out of dimension lumber that you can find in any lumber yard or big box store. I chose cedar, but if you're gonna paint your bench, pine lumber would work as well. With the pieces cut to length and width, there is a material list and technical drawings available to download in the details below. There are just a few cuts to make. grooves to plow. Before we begin to assemble the bench, we need to take a few moments to mount the hinges and the lid stay system. This lid stay system from Sugatsuni is a real game changer. Lids that slam shut can catch fingers, harm things stored in the chest, and are just really annoying. What makes this lid stay system so cool is that it integrates with typical 35 millimeter hinges and the stay mounts over a hinge plate designed to accept it. You just lay out and drill the 35 millimeter holes in the bench lid as you would with any similar system. Then you mount the hinge plates on the back. To complete mounting the lid stay system, I install a small mounting plate on the lid. Now it's time to put the pieces together. I mostly nailed this bench together. I used these really cool steel nails from Rockler. I think they gave the, the piece a bit of a rustic look, which I liked. In the front, I used both screws and nails, hiding the screws with the cleats. These cleats are both functional and aesthetic. They make the bench look better. I think it looks kind of old fashioned -y with it. Plus, they help keep these wide panels from warping. And of course, the handles on the sides are self-explanatory. So that's it. A handy little bench with storage in it that takes advantage of Sugatsuni's amazing hinge stay. I'm Rob Johnstone from Woodworkers Journal. Thank you for watching.